hi guys welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials and today in this video i will show you how to make this web page design using html and css where you can see one product image in the left side and in the right side you can see product title small description price and one buy now button the best part of this web page design is its animation you can see one offer text and some glowing shadow animation around it the product is also moving up and down and there is an icon in buy now button which is moving left and right this type of product details page you can create in your e-commerce website design. So you will learn to design this web page using HTML and CSS step by step. But before starting this video, I will request you to please hit the like button and also subscribe if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. You can see I have one folder here and in this folder I have two images, one HTML file and one CSS file. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor so this is my html file and this one is my css file you can see i have already connected html file with css with this line of code next we will come to the body tag and here we will create one div we'll write any class name here hero in this div we will create two other div also for left and right column Now let's copy the class name for the first div. We'll add it into the CSS file. And for this one, we will add height 100%. And let's add some padding to add some space. Then we'll add display flex. Then align items, it will be center. Let me copy the left column class div. And for this one, we'll write flex basis 50% and text align center now we'll add content in the first column so here we will add another div and class name let's use this class name in the css file and for this one we'll add some background color and we'll write width and height now we will open our HTML file with Google Chrome. So here you can see this small box that we have created right now. Here we will add margin 0 and auto. So you will see this box in the center of left column. Now in the first column we will add one image. So I am using img source and the file name and I'm adding one class name for this image. Now we'll use this class name in the CSS file for the product image. So we will set the width of this product and let's reload the web page so that you can see this product image on this web page. We will add some margin from top so that you can see some space from the top. Next we will come to the right column. So just copy the right column class name, add it into the CSS file and here also we will add flex basis 50% and padding also to add some space. Next we will add some content in the right column. So first I am writing one title in h1. So the title is extra base headphone. Then we'll add some small description in p tag. Now we'll reload the web page so that you can see this title and small description in the right column. Next we will design this title and description. So let's come to the CSS file and first we'll add font family sans serif. Save the changes and reload the web page so that you can see this different font style on this web page. After this small description we will add one price so I'm using h3 and the price is hundred dollar next we will add one button so i'm using anchor tag and the button text is why now after reloading this page you can see this price and this link first we will copy this h1 
and before that we'll write this class name for this one we will increase the font size and font weight next we'll add margin at the bottom of this h1 text reload the web page and you can see this increased font size and a space at the bottom next we will duplicate this one and here we will write h3 for price for this one we will add margin 30 pixel from top and bottom and 0 from left and right we'll change the color of this text reload the web page and you can see some space around this price and different color next we will design the button so we will copy a tag and before that we'll put the class name for this button we will set the width and we'll add some padding color it will be white and text decoration it will be none here we will add border radius and background so this is the background color now reload the web page now you can see this button looks very good next we will change the color of this title so here i am adding a span open and a span close here after extra base and now we will use this span in css so here we will write this span and then we'll add this color that's it let's reload the web page so that you can see different color for this extra base then headphone in black color next we will add one icon in this button so in this button text i am adding span and in this span we will add one code for arrow icon so this is the small html code you can search on google so we got this icon in this button so let's copy this one and then we will write span for the icon and here we'll write display inline block and margin from the right side to add some space now you can see some space between this icon and button text next we have to add animation in this icon for that we will add animation and here we can write any name so i'm writing arrow time 1.5 seconds linear and infinite then we'll write keyframes and just use this animation name for 0% we will add transform translate minus 5 pixel so it will go 5 pixel in the left side then we will add 50% and translate x 5 pixel so it will go right side and again we will write 100% minus 5 pixel so it will go left side after reloading this web page you can see this icon is moving left and right next we will add animation on product image so let's copy this animation and we will add it here in the headphone and let's change the animation name here so here we will write headphone just copy it and for this one we'll change the time two seconds let's duplicate it and here we will write the next name and this time we will use translate y because we have to move the product image top and bottom so here I am writing translate y minus 8 pixel then plus 8 pixel and again minus 8 pixel reload the web page and you can see this product image is moving from bottom to top and top to bottom so right now you can see two animations on this web page next we will add one offer text for that we have one image so first we will add this image here I will add image source and the file name which is offer.png and for this one we'll add one class name also so the class name is offer let's use this class name in css file and for this one we'll set width 100 pixel and reload the web page now you can see this offer text at the bottom of this product image so we have to fix the absolute position for this offer text for that first we will come to this class name product img and here we will add position relative and again we'll come back to the offer and here we will add 
position absolute. Reload the web page. Now you can see this offer image in the right side. Now we have to move it in the left side. For that here we will add top 0, left 0, transform translate minus 50% and minus 50%. Reload the web page. Now you can see this offer image at the corner of this product image. Now we will add border radius 50%. Next we will add some shadow for this offer image. For that we will use box shadow 0, 0, 0 and 20 pixel and this color. Let's reload the web page and you can see this shadow around this offer image. So right now we have only one shadow so let's duplicate it and we'll change the value. So now you can see two shadow here. Next we will duplicate it and again we'll change the value 60 pixel and reload the web page. Now you can see three shadow over here. Next we have to animate this shadow. For that we will add animation. Then we will add one name, 2 seconds, linear and infinite. Next we will copy the animation name. Then write keyframes and animation name. Here we will write 0% and remove this box shadow from here and we will add it into the keyframes for 0%. Here we will make it 0 and 20 and this one 40. Let's duplicate it and here we will write 100%. And this time we will make it 20, 40 and 60. That's it. Now you can see this shadow is increasing. 0 becomes 20, 20 becomes 40 and 40 becomes 60. And this opacity will become 0. After reloading the web page, you can see animated shadow around this offer image. Like this, you can design this web page using HTML and CSS. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback about this video, let me know in the comment section. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.